Hello everyone, I am Rachna Pathak from Valchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. So today, in this session, we are going to study all about WordPress installation, customization and maintenance. At the end of this session, student will be able to install, customize and maintain WordPress which is one of the open source content management system. So, here is an overview of points that I am going to cover up in this session. Introduction to your WordPress, how to install, how to develop site in WordPress. Now, you need some prior prerequisite or requirements to install your WordPress. These are the sum of essential requirement for the complete setup. You can use any system, laptop or computer and a strong internet connection. WAMP or XAMPP server that is your local server. Actually, here we need PHP and MySQL or any database but as we are installing XAMPP server, it includes everything in it. Another is your WordPress package. You have to download from internet. During searching, you may find many versions. Select version as per your requirement or any latest version. Introduction part. So beginning with why WordPress. Now this is an online open source website creation tool which is written in your PHP. Probably it is used as easiest and one of the most powerful blogging and website content management system. We also abbreviate as CMS. WordPress is highly customizable and has literally thousands of plugins pieces of software so you can use your site for just about anything you wish. If you are ever curious about who uses WordPress, head on over to the WordPress site showcase and you will be impressed by the number of well-known sites and famous people using WordPress to power their websites. You are in a good company if you use WordPress to publish on the websites. Many famous blogs, news outlets, music sites, Fortune 500 companies and celebrities are also using your WordPress. Now for example, famous blogs like Mashable and TechCrunch are both on your WordPress. News outlets like the New York Times, blogs all use your WordPress too. That should tell you something about how powerful and safe it is to use your WordPress. Now, here are some important steps you need to perform during WordPress setup. An uh, analytical flow of installation I can see. So you can see your step one. Step one is just to install your local server, WAMP or your XAMPP server. In step two, we just make sure that we start our server. Step three is download your WordPress package and paste it in www directory that is any web root directories. Step four is open PHP MyAdmin and create database. Of course, we will see more in detailed way. This diagram is just an analytical mind map for you all. Now, let us see step five. Open the package in your browser, you will get localhost slash folder name, example WordPress. Run and install, log in to your admin panel again. Now we are ready with our OST WordPress site. I have created OST site so you can see as a message OST WordPress website. Now my question is where will you paste your downloaded WordPress package? Take a pause, try to recall and answer it. So your answer is the web root of XAMPP server. Now let us see stepwise creation. So beginning with our first step, just go to your WordPress site and download your WordPress package. Here we can find the version 4.9.8. So I'll just keep it to downloading. 
My next step will be start your VAMP server. Here I have VAMP in my system, so I will start my VAMP server and for that click on Windows, just click on Windows and search for your VAMP server. You will see message over here start VAMP server. So you just have to click on start VAMP server. Till now your WordPress package is ready as we kept it for downloading. Now click on VAMP icon in your taskbar and click on menu www.directory and paste your WordPress folder followed by your extraction step 2. So you have to just paste your folder into web root. Basically, after this step, we will just check for our folder in local host. So for that, open up your browser and type localhost slash wordpress. Localhost slash wordpress. Here you see your wordpress folder. So this makes sure that everything is working fine. You can recognize your wordpress folder over here. It was just a verification step. Now next step is just to click on continue and move one step further. So just select language as English and continue. Now this is how you can see your screen. You are almost ready to design your website. Next step is to create your database. Here in database name just type root and leave your password field empty as we are creating a default database. Database host will be your local host table, prefix will be wp underscore and at the end you just have to submit. So you can see your fields, database name is root, username I have given as rachna, password, database host is your local host, table pre prefix is your wp underscore. That's it, then you have to submit it. Now, next step is to create database. So just follow the steps as shown on your screen. Create new database. You can name anything and just click on create. So you can see, this is how you will get a database created message. Database Rachna has been created. Now, Next step is just creating table like any database creation. I have created table OST as you can see with some fields. So I have given OST, table name OST, role number, any entities, whatever you want to fill up. Now, here we are done with the complete process. You just have to click run on this installation, run the installation and we will lead running of the process. So just click here. You will get this as you click on your run. Fill the essential fields. Here you actually start with your website like site title, how people are going to search you and much more things. So and this is the phase where you begin with your WordPress site creation and customization. So you can see my site title is open source technology username rachna password give a strong password your email address fine so make sure you give a valid email address as you need verification step here you are done as you can see success message is displayed on your screen so just remember your credentials username and your password Login again from admin panel with the same credential you provided during the creation. So what we have to do, just login again, give your email address, your password and login. Now, here you see your dashboard where you can customize your website. You can add blogs, pages, change the themes, I mean complete look and feel. So this is how we can customize our WordPress site. You can add media, comments, plugins, users, tools. You have so many facilities or you can customize your website 
as and when you need it. So after that, this is how you can see your site looks like WordPress site. So my topic was open source technology as it was my site title name. Now, here are some of the references I have used during content preparation of this session. Thank you.